Alright guys, what's up? You're watching Brad's iPod Help, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the new on-device setup feature that comes in iOS 5 when you restore your device. Uh, so I literally just restored my device to iOS 5. Uh, you can still use the iTunes re or, uh, setup uh, just as you always used to be able to, but now you have this new feature or this new ability to do the setup straight from your device. So I am running an iPod Touch 4th generation. As you can see here, you see iPod, uh, you see the front-facing camera as well as the rear facing camera right there so no shenanigans going on. Uh, I have not done this setup myself personally. Uh, I have seen a few videos on it but I'm going to go through this uh, with you uh, my first time. So uh, let's do this and you can see the setup screen right here. This is what it looks like and um, let's just slide to setup. So here we go. Uh, you get to choose your language so there's a whole bunch here and I'm going to choose English so that's already checked off. Go next. You choose your country and uh, let's choose Canada because that's where I am right now and uh, now I guess you have to choose your Wi-Fi network so let me just put in the password so just a second here uh, and let's just close the door people aren't talking and uh, just oops hold on that was bad there we go now press join entering it in it's now connecting so this is wait I guess there you go so now I have Wi-Fi so that's all good I guess you tap next uh, set up as new iPod touch restore from iCloud backup or restore from iTunes uh, I think I'm just going to do new iPod touch right now I'll do the rest later and I just tap next and I guess I can sign in with my Apple ID so why don't we do that now and my password so there we go and now let's tap next I'd probably sign in here uh, maybe I, there we go finally set up iCloud uh, yeah I guess guess we can click next uh, find my iPod Touch. If you misplace your iPod Touch, find my iPod Touch can help you find it on a map. Play the sound or dis uh, play the sound or display a message. Uh, yeah, okay. Already have that enabled before. Automatically send for diagnostics. Why not? Thank you. And I guess this, that, that's it for the setup. Uh, you can now tap to start using your iPod Touch. And there you go. This is now iOS 5. I can go to settings. I can go to general, uh, I can go to about, and you can see right there iOS 5. It's kind of blurry, but you kind of can make it out, uh, obviously, by the new setup. And here's just a few options. I'm going to do all the new features of iOS 5 in a later video, but I was just showing, uh, this was just a demonstration of um, the setup for iOS 5 on an iPod Touch 4th generation, and it's pretty much exactly the same for all other devices. So, hope you guys have liked this video, and um, I have nothing else to say. Oh, um, yeah, if you did like this video, please hit the like button. Also, please hit the subscribe button up top right there. And also comment down below. Also, to add one more thing, you do have to have your UDID registered with Apple. And you do have to pay 99 bucks for a developer account to have that enabled. Uh, so keep that in mind. Do not download uh, iOS 5 and try restoring your device to it because you will probably get bricked. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Uh, peace.